Oh my best green deck I think I've ever built. Um, and I know looking at this, you're going to be like, yeah, right, dude, that deck's garbage. Actually, Billy, no, it's not. Let me tell you why. Now, on the face, it does seem like you don't have really many low drop spells and you have zero ramp. I'm telling you right now, I just went nine for 10. Nine wins, one loss. Phenomenal. You're going to see every single one of these plays. The deck can win in under a minute and 20 seconds. It's OP. Garrick Unleashed, I think, is highly unappreciated right now in the meta. I think after rotation, this deck is going to be phenomenal. The only card rotating out is going to be Pelt Collector. Everything else in this build stays from rotation. That is really good. Now, I only threw in Garrick's Gorehorn over here for the memes, really, because we have Garrick's Gorehorn, we have Garrick Unleashed, and we also have the Uprising and the Harbinger. Harbinger is phenomenal. I'm telling you, there's so much card draw in center. Like, there, there's so much card draw between Uprising and Harbinger in the deck. That's eight cards right there that will draw you cards and continuously put pressure on your opponent. And the thing I, I, I find most impressive about this whole deck is Garrick Unleash plus one. Up to one target creature gets plus three, plus three against Trample until end of turn. And also you can put down uh, more beast tokens if you're up against a more control-y kind of matchup, you know, that does help as well. But I, I have found this very successful. Again, two Yorvos only. Yorvo, at one point, we have become a 12-12 to close out a match. Um, we go against all different kind of decks from um, Cat Oven to um, Song of Creation builds to uh, uh, control builds, to mirror matches, the, the list goes on, um, to aggro. It's it's a very impressive deck, and I think um, I was really, really impressed by the performance of it. Lovestruck Beast is, is a great addition as well. We don't even care that Lovestruck Beast can't attack because we have so many other threats. The really important thing about Lovestruck Beast is that he can be a blocker. And that he can draw us cards. We want him to proc our uh, uprising right here. Because whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield in your control, you draw a card. And all creatures we control also have trample. So with Garrick's uprising out, it's nasty. There was a couple matches in the end. I forgot where Garrick's uprising had trample. Um, or he gave all my creatures trample. I think there was one instance... Uh, throughout this where I completely I just it didn't cross my mind we did not have trample on all the creatures but um, you'll see uh, you'll see that in a bit but uh, Garrick's Harbinger again the card draw on this guy is sweet man because when it deals combat damage you can look at that many cards on the top of your library and uh, reveal one um, you could be it could be a creature or a Garrick Planeswalker card from among them and put one of those into our hand very huge. Very, very huge. And remember, we can make him bigger with Garrick Unleashed easily. So we're going to get that damage in. Nessie and Horn Beetle, four of. Massive. It's going to grow. It's going to grow quick, too. Very cool. Uh, Heroic Intervention. It, it'll win you games, man. Only two copies in the main. Um, I guess you could go more, but really, I think two is pretty uh, pretty fitting. This uh, We did end up winning a couple matches just with Heroic Intervention. And Pell Collector is a grower, not a shower, guys. Castle Garenbrig is a must. Again, Garrick's uh, Gorehorn, it's for the memes. I threw him in here. And it's also more budget-friendly, I guess, for you guys um, You know who are looking for more baller on a budget strategy. But if you don't want to run him, I highly suggest you running... Elder Gargareth in replace because <laughs> of the card draw, the creature tokens, the gaining life, the trample. It's just a much better card all around. But if you don't have the wild cards for that, then go at Garrick's Gorehorn. This will also get the job done because remember, big boy's got trample. He sure does. All right, um, that's it. Uh, Questing Beast, of course, four of. If you don't got him, um, you know, just any other card that's really cheap. Maybe that, um, if you don't have Questing Beast, but man, Questing Beast is so good. Uh, I guess go with that Ceratops. Um, he's pretty good as well. Uh, that's the entirety of the deck. Enjoy these games. This is a lot of fun gameplay. You guys, I, I, and you're like, why, why don't I see your face today, Joey? I just decided to be off camera. I do apologize. But um, I think it almost adds a different element when you can't see me. And I, I feel more free and more fun 
when I'm not directly in front of the camera, I feel like it'd be more goofy. And that's kind of what I wanted to do in this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts um, at the end of the video when you watch. Uh, I want to hear what you think. Enjoy. Skadoosh. Oh boy. <clears throat> Ping him. Ping him. We do have Garrick's Gorehorn. Aw, oh, Kaya, you little you little tramp. That does it. Making me use foul language. In my house. Dropping big boy. Yorvo, basically every turn we have a large drop. That's kinda like the idea of the build. We want to have a lot of threats, just non-stop threats. Um, I think we we should probably do this first, but... All right, we'll swing in. Garrick's uprising. Cool. No sweeper, please. I feel like I should have done it first. See, sometimes it's better to play your spells before. Here comes a sweep for sure. Um, it's better to play your spells before. Good news is we still got Uprising, which is nasty sauce. Um, I think, honestly, we want to play uh, play you, big boy. They hold 7-3 and the card draw. Oh, that's right. Oath of Gaia can take out Gorehorn there. Easy. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. Um, I guess we go with Quester and just get some damage in there. Nissian as well. Because that'll get a plus. There we go. Can't we just beat him down with Garrick Unleashed now? Doom foretold. I mean, that's cool, bro. Take out Nessian. I guess unleashed. And just try to punish him. Hardcore. This will give us card draw. That's about it, though. Oh, heroic intervention. No, no, no. <laughs> we needed that uh, in our hand, like, right now to avoid a board wipe. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe he doesn't have the board wipe right now. I mean, if he's thinking this hard, either he's just toying with us. Dance with him. Okay. Okay. <coughs> that was not the best thing in the world. That will hurt you. Who has hurt you? Um. I'll sacrifice. This is not going to do us any good, so I'll sack that. Okay, and then we just run you out again. Get the card drawn. Oh, gear. Okay, that's good. We could... Nah, we better just plus up. And then we just heroic intervention for the win, really. I could have even dropped Nissian. Maybe we should have dropped it pre. Let's get it out just to get it out, in case he does have a way to deal with this. Okay, yeah, we should have dropped it earlier. Opponent's so sacrificing. May have another dance in the pants. Heroic inter intervention would just wreck everything he does. Drops another doom foretold. This wouldn't. This would. This would not help that though. 
I mean, we're going to win no matter what here. We just sack this and this and drop that. All right, we'll resolve all. We'll get rid of you, and we'll get rid of you. I don't think heroic intervention would do anything, because when you sacrifice, it's not indestructible. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Well, anyway, good game. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just scooped. I was so excited that we came back from that one. Oh, my God. Do, do, do. Okay, wow. That was fun. Good times. Okay. Well, that's all rock and roll, baby. I was thinking of running ramp in the deck. I did try it out, and um, I had more success this way, honestly. I had more success running it this way. Horn Beetle, you're an easy target right now, my friend. Way in the open. Right out in the open. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can go with that. We got Rook. Protection against black. This thing's really good, though, because um, what deals combat damage to a player Planeswalker, look at the top. Look at that many cards from the top of your library. And we can get a creature or a Garrick Planeswalker card put in our hand. That's pretty legit, man. People really underestimate that. If I go Questing Beast this turn, and then final next turn Garrick, that should just end it. We just got too much heat on the opponent. Yeah, see how fast that is? That was less than a minute. Minute and 15 seconds. Oh man, that is so scary. We are so sluggish in this. Ah, that didn't really help us at all. We're just a card less now. <laughs> all right, we will ditch a U. Yarbo. All right, nothing. That really stinks. We only got like a bunch of three drops here, but three and four drops. Scavenging ooze. I I had scavenging ooze in the build also, but it just wasn't doing enough. It was not doing enough, if you guys can believe that. I think we go... Probably Uprising first, because protection from black. Scavenging use, use, you see, usually you see like Golgari colors, or you can. If this is just mono green, then so be it. That's another good card, as long as we're visionary, but we have other cards that do uh, just as good. Yeah, I would not attack opponent. You will live in regret. All right, I believe... I could go with Yorvo and then Questing Beast next turn. I really need to get Uprising out, though. We need to get the card draw, especially if he has card draw. We have to be able to match that card draw. Um, if he, he can double block, I guess. He'll lose both. I'm cool with that trade. He does not. Now we get a look at the top card. It's like an additional card draw. Pelt Collector. Awesome. Play it. It's a big punishment when you don't block the Harbinger. It really, really is. Questing Beast. Nasty sauce. That's going to deliver some damage. If we tap deck one more land, we're looking pretty good. We did. Hooray. Okay. Um, with that being said, we do one of these. We have six manas. We drop you. Get to oh, I should have played uh, Nessie and uh, Beetle first. Whoops, sorry about that, fellas. That was my mistake. Nessie should have dropped first to get the triggers. Um, we are only going to swing with those two. This will allow, if he wants to block with this, Scavenging Ooze can get bigger then. He trades Questing for Questing and allowing Harbinger. Does he allow Harbinger to get through? That's big. That's like constant card draw. A lot of triggers off there. 
Uh, Garrick's gonna close it out here. I like that we have uh, the the gore horn as well. Savage, savage. I don't know how many matches I'm gonna have to play because matches are over really quick. Gem Razor, that's beautiful. Right on to Uprising. That is pretty. If I, you know what I could do? I think it's lethal no matter how we look at it right now. Um, we play Garrick, put the Trample on. I mean, I think that's gonna wrap it up, but it's. Yeah, it's gonna, it's it's it. But I, I wanted to get Garrick's Gorehorn down, you know? I think it's just a funny card to go with everything. All right, and that's uh, that's devastating. Put it right on you, Sunny Boy. Get the trigger. Swing with everything. That should seal the deal. Opponent did get stuck with three lands though. Well, he did have the ramp, so I guess you could say he had four mana. So I don't know. All right, blocks. Yeah, you could still stay alive in this. But Harbinger is going to allow us to dig for basically anything we need right now. Um, anything hasty? No. We didn't even use our Yorvo. That's how crazy, like, we had just better options the whole way through. Actually, Yorvo probably would have been smarter to drop him earlier because we did play a lot of green. So, I mean, we could have given him Trample and rode right over him. So, all in all, the game, I guess, could have been won sooner. But All right, pretty sweet. Oh, looks a dynamite there. Cranium. What do I see? I see, I see. Okay. We got a good curve going on here. Turn one, turn two, turn three. We'll wait till you're large enough um, from Yorvo here. Judith. Okay, we didn't want to see that. That kind of messes things up a bit. I guess we shall start swinging in, though. We got to put pressure on opponent. Can't let him sit here. All right, we do lose a pelt collector. <clears throat> That's okay. That is okay by me. <clears throat> uh, Unleashed can definitely deal some damage. Um, yeah, that's going to be nasty. And we can even put it on... Well, no, nah, I probably want to go with Yorbo. Opponent. Opponent facing imminent doom. All right. Right into you, baby. Ah, uh, that's a lot of damage. Could put it on Horn Beetle. It doesn't matter which one. I don't want to lose Garrick, though. Honestly, we can't just yet. I don't think we can lose him yet. Yeah, so we're going to double swing. Garuk! My ninja. Down to six. Bad hair day, you see that? Being artisan, yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Just the pressure is just, it's too immense. It's just too much. Ooh, looking really, really slow. Mulligan. That looks really, really better. <laughs> we will go with that. Ooh. 
Got enough Castle Garenbriggs to last forever, huh? Nice turn one, turn two, turn three. Man, if this thing came out with haste. Man, if anything came out with haste, we would just be insane. Oh, matchy watchy. Pink. We are on the play, so we're going to win. Garuk. I got these lands, too. I should probably play with different lands. These Godzilla lands are kind of lame, huh? I did try running Farron in this build also. It was not that good, guys. I'm telling you, it was not that good. All right, I think we want to go... Well, your, well, okay, let's go Yorbo this time. So Yorbo can just constantly grow. Swing, swing. Down to 12. If we top deck a land, that's already game. That just shows you how fast this... Oh, he's got a Yorbo, too. Oh, no, no, no. Can, he cannot attack, though. Our Yorbo kills him. Ah, rubbish. All right, that hurts. We do get two triggers, though. Still bigger, still badder. Apply nothing but pressure. <laughs> okay, opponent said, that's enough, Joey Moss. I quit. All right, so there's my, my mono green versus his mono green. Good times. <laughs> but we were on the play, though. That could have been the other way around had we gone second. So that's my hand. Uh, okay, we're going to go at this, but not the best in the world. A lot of times we've had Pell Collector out turn one, which is pretty phenomenal. All right, you ever get that feeling like this is going to be the match we lose? I'm getting that feeling right now. <laughs> Trink. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I don't know what he got. <clears throat> we have Garrick's Uprising, but it's not really enough right now. We need one more big creature. Good thing is we run a lot, a lot of very large creatures in our build. This is true. Opponent. Priesty boy. All right, we go right to here. Swing on in with everything yet again. We do have Garrick Unleashed. That will help, but we really want another creature. Hmm. <clears throat> Opponent swinging in. It looks like he may be sacrificing if he did that. We will see. We will see. Such value out of this card. That is a card uh, that's going to be worth money down the road. I'm, I'm sure it already is now. Pick up your copies. Was he taken out? Um, I guess I'll, I'll get rid of Pelt. That does tickle what he just did there. Oh, an Archie's Vessel. Nice plays. Wow. A heck ton of value out of this young man's deck. Garuk. Garuk. I guess we go to Garrick. Swing in. Another questing beast is good. That gets a 3-3. Three, three. We just, again, continuously apply pressure. Oh, it takes it down to 9. May end up sacking again. He may get a demon out of this. I don't know. This, again, this deck has just so much, uh, so much in-your-face smacks, you know, that there's not much you can do. All right, looks like he's going to sack again. Question is, will he be able to bring back the vessel? Because if he does, that's going to be a problem. So if he has uh, Loris right now, that would be, like, incredible. <laughs> that would be an incredible, incredible play. Does not be as wrinkled. Oh, 
Okay. Ouch! That does tickle. Nice play opponent. Making a sack questing beast. That was good. Wow, he sacked his priest. Oh yeah, because of, uh, wow. Oh, wow. Did he really just pull it off? Yes, he did. Good game. Good, 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 good game. I don't have anything that has reach against that right now. Usually we just whoop someone's butt. Good job, man. Good job. On to the next. Slow start. Not going to lie. Against the curve. That's sweet. That like that right there just makes me feel so much better. All right, there's an incoming board wipe coming though, which will hurt. Looks like we got two turns. Oh, maybe not a yeah. There's a board wipe coming. We got about two turns. If we can get one more, whoa. If we can get one more land out of this, that'd be great. He's going for the mill. Mill and bounce, huh? I don't think a mill deck's going to beat us. But it's a possibility. There's one of our lands. There's another land. Yahtzee. Okay, uh, questing beast for ultimate punishment. <laughs> Down to 12. Um, two Garricks unleashed, huh? I think... I guess we just grab you, because you're a three drop. We can play, like, Pell Collector and Harbinger next turn. Goes Uro. If he did not go Uro, I would have, uh... Well, you know, I think we still got it, though. I, I... Okay. I hate to be that guy, but... I know we're going to win. I'm just not sure how. All right. Shh. You guys didn't hear that. You No one heard that. No one heard that. I'm just not sure which way we want to win. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we drop Garrick's Unleashed here. Um, that puts all the pressure on him. We're going to put it on a Harbinger. He could bounce. What was that one card he had? Yeah, that thing. Cool, dude. All right, swinging in. That buys him more time. You know what? We should have put it on Questing Beast. So then Harbinger gets... Well, it did, I guess it doesn't matter. A lot of junk in the trunk. We have a lot of cards. Um, I will go Pelt and Harbinger this turn. Yeah, I really should have put it on Beast. That was my fault. We've slowed ourselves down tremendously by putting it on the wrong creature. That tickles. Okay, you... Um... Yeah, we just pump you up, man. Sup. Sup at you, bro. Swing in. I really want to get uh, Gorehorn down here. I think we will. For the, for the memes. <laughs> for the memes. Gorehorn, do your thing, baby. Come on. That, I want to see you at 10-6 with Trample, pal. Come on. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. <laughs> uh, come on. Let us do it. <laughs> Go the Uro. Oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be classic. It's going to be a fight. We're going to get right down the middle there, mate. 
applying all the pressure. Oh no, a storm's wrath. No! 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 <laughs> oh, he's got a storm's wrath. Oh, he does a storm's wrath. Oh man, what a wild ride we were just on. <laughs> All right, that, that was pretty intense, not gonna lie. Okay, um, wow. We probably should get Pell Collector out because things are gonna die right now. So let's do this. We'll get double Pell Collector out. Um, and we will also drop our Harbinger here. That is all we can do there, unless we get another sweet card here. No, we don't have our Garrick's thing out, okay. Uh, let's go plus one on to big boy here. <laughs> uh, double swing. Opponent, what are you gonna do, bro? You gotta block 10 damage. <laughs> he trades with Beast. Ooh, ooh, rolls on in over Uro. Nasty. Triggers galore for pelts. We got two four fours on our hands. Nice board. Nice board. Opponent caught me off guard. I thought it was just a mill deck. Pretty cool build. I like it. I do. Especially when I'm beating it. Yeah! Yeah, good game. That was really good, man. I actually liked this build, for real. Good times, good times. Keeper. Wow, I haven't seen Love Struck in forever. Lovestruck's just a really good blocker. Um, that's honestly all the only way I feel about him in this build. He's just a big blocker, and he triggers off the uprising. Other than that, who cares that he's even here? All right, definitely gonna need to land here. In the next two turns. Okay, oof. the deck is designed to actually draw lands, believe it or not. All right, I think then we probably want to go. It's hard to say what we do here. I guess we can go Love Struck. Then again, let's go Garrick's Uprising first, and then Love Struck. It makes more sense because the odds of him destroying Love Struck, if I were to play it right there, and then try to get the perk the other way with Garrick, is. Yeah, it's great. Go. Gari? Okay. Leyline Prowler. Ooh, boy, oh boy. Okay, um, I guess we go... He's going to have a lot of Death Touch and, and Killery stuff. Okay, I, gu I guess we go with Lord Yorbu. Okay. Got up. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that yet. We gotta watch for sweepers. That was that was kind of silly. I was just trying to use all my mana. Um, yeah, if he rituals of soot here, I mean he'll kill his own ley line, but does he really care? He death sprouts Yorbo. I was playing a deck very similar uh, to this. I was like, I actually was using it, and um, I was not very fond of it. Um, I did not have great results, but maybe it was the matches I was up against. Okay, we got uh, Questing Beast is always good for that quick damage. Right now is a good time to get in, and we get the card draw from Uprising. I really do like uh, Heroic's Intervention. I like it better if, uh, if we had mana to use it. <laughs> Another thing with this deck, um, you don't always have the mana to use uh, Heroic's Intervention. Because every turn, you got a three or four drop on your hands. Finality. Okay. That is pretty gangster, my friend. That is pretty gangster. Okay. We shall do this. I will get you out. And we'll get Harbinger out. Triggers. Harbinger. Triggers. Okay.
I mean, we have a lot of card draw, pal, and we got a bunch of Garrick's unleashed here. We can keep making these three threes. Four five at lifelink, though, is a beast. Okay, we take. Okay, okay, okay. That's how you want to play. If that was him, I would have swung in there, too. All right, we can. Ah, I'm like one land off from what I really want to do. I guess we go at Unleashed. And we will minus two. And no attack. And then next turn, we could uh, probably play Love Struck and Heroic Intervention, something like that. Okay, takes out. Okay, things just changed. So now I'd like to go uh, Unleashed and Intervention. We probably won't see this coming either. We will plus up on this dude. And I will swing in with just him. This ain't going to do nothing. He just took it. I did not see that one coming. Wow. Okay. I did not see that one coming. I think I use it here. Nice response. Ouch. He didn't do it. He says nice. You're darn right it's nice, baby. You know what else is nice, sugar? When I drop this. <laughs> oh, man. Got him. Dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Good game. Good game, buddy. Good game. Woo! Good game indeed. Oh, boy. Um, do we want to keep? Yeah. Jarek's Gorehorn. You silly card. Fimasa. Okay. Play you. Very sluggish start. What do we get? Gruul or Golgari? Fabled. Do nothing. Opponent's running a lot of removal, so this will eventually come in handy. Ah, uh, rascal. He'll probably go for Unleashed. Or actually, probably Harbinger, because protection from black. That hurts. Yeah, we really could have messed him up there. That stinks. All right, Pelt it is. This guy, probably gonna take out Intervention now. No, Harbinger, okay. Makes sense, I suppose. Ouch, cannot cast nothing there. Gorehorn, I'm sure he just has removal for easily. He's down to two cards. Or he has two lands out. Duress. He can only take this. So we might as well just play it. Okay. This is not going to do a whole lot here. Uh, pretty sure our Gorehorn is going to die. <laughs> Without a doubt. But that's okay. If opponent can top deck another land. Cheville. Alright. That's not bad of a pool. No trample on this, so that would be kind of a big waste. Uh, I think we'll hold off until we can give it trample.
Then again, that might have been the right time there to swing him at both. Okay, he gets the card draw, but eliminate. He did not hit his lands. We should have been more aggressive. Yeah, we should have been. I should have swung with both of these last time. That was shocking he did that. That's not going to hit him at all. That's almost game. If we top deck Garrick, it's game. Well, Garrick's uprising for some card draw. GG. Another solid, solid deck. Gruel, baby. Gruel. Alright, Pelty, do your thing, Pelt Boy. Nothing. I, I, I do hate that. We don't have much for turn two. There's only, um... Like, I think six cards that are two drops. But... The one thing I can say with certainty, the deck has proven successful without them. Without, like, a bunch of two drops and whatnot. So there's that. Um, I think we go with Uprising here. I almost wanted to go Harbinger. Probably should have gone Harbinger. I'll trade him. I mean, Reef obviously is more value than a collector. I, I cannot believe he just traded that. That was amazing. I mean, maybe he has ways to bring him back. Yeah, for sure. All right, um, we're gonna go right to questing beast and start getting some value in here. Frilled Mystic. Oh, I hate these decks. All right, let's see how many more Frilled Mystics he has. He's gonna have to counter everything. Six, yeah, one shy. Uh, I guess we can try going. He's gonna counter though. We can try Garrick. What's he got? I mean, all we need to do is really slip in some stuff. Grabs his second Frilled Mystic. God, I hate that card. <laughs> oh, I really do. Such good value. Frilled Mystic is such good value. And then plays Uro. Alright, this, this guy's got a pretty solid deck here. I like it. I mean, it definitely is good against ours when we have a lot of higher casting cost spells. Nothing really low to the ground, you know. All right, if, if we can get two creatures, we could tap deck a land, get both creatures to resolve here. We are in fantastic shape. I'm swinging in. Put all those eggs in one basket. Ah, oh, we did not get it. But we can do this. Yorvo, baby. He might have made a mistake there. Nice. Uh, we could go then with Questing Beast. To get damage down, but Garrick, we really need for the card draw. All right, now you got two big threats down, boy. What do you do? I see. Okay, that'll do. Look at that five cards your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield on the rest of your exit. <laughs> What did he get? Oh, no, he got Tamio and Keaton. Oh, man, talk about Rampage. But why would you play that? Oh, because uh, of the, the seven ability. I get it. All right. This is going to be a tough one. If this thing had haste, man. The story past our All right, you can't counter nothing here. Um, 
Yeah, oops. That's all right. I've made worse misplays. That's true. All right, I think we want to go... Man, I really want to get damage in, but... Let's play Garrick while we can. Um, we better put it on... Oof. I guess they got more damage. Let's put it on you. We just want to swing in. 7-6 is pretty massive. Okay, down to 12. Let's get... Lovestruck over here. And we can play that. So we do have a blocker if... Can he take this out? Yeah. I think we got it. Opponent's in a bad spot. And with only a Euro, I mean, he can play the, the Euro, but that's it. He can also go digging, that's true. If he hits the right card, we're in trouble. Tamio. Okay. Did not get what he was looking for. Does not have a counter. All right, opponent, what do you got? We can drop a uh, questing beast, and that, I think, seals the deal with questing beast. I'll give this trample, though. Oh, yeah, Uro, that's right. I've got two cards up there. He could make a come. I mean, all he needs is the one right card, and it's game for us. We could play. All right, he's making a move. Ooh, he committed everything to it. We, yeah, that, that card will kill you, my friend. All right, well, if everything's committed to it, that's just how the cookie's gonna crumble. Okay. We do need our questing beast out here. Another land. We'll get Lovestruck as well to make Garenbrig huge. Swing. 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 He's going to have to block. I, I, I hate just to lose this for no value. We'll do that for right now. Okay. Opponent is down to six. And loses Tamio. Which is legit. Incubation Druid. They should wrap it up. I think we just overwhelmed them. Downside, we have nothing but trample, but when this hits, it's a big boy, guys. That's a big boy. Cracks Uro again, gains a little bit of life. That's a lot of cards in hand. One, two, three, four. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no! Another Song of Creation could do it. 
Not song creation, another, uh, what's it called? Uh, something like Genesis Ultimatum could really mess us up. Huh. Okie dokie. I'll play you. Doesn't matter if we do it before or after. He has no cards right now. Triggers. But before is better because of the 8-8. Eight, eight. Please, give me a 4-drop. We have a lot. Yes! Oh, he's not going to be happy with that. Oh, it's only... Oh, no! God, no! Why did we do that? No, no! Go, 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 go! Oh, oh, my God! Okay, okay. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, man. Oh, no. What's he going to get? Nothing. He got nothing. He got nothing. I really want this dude to swing in there. Ah, oh, crap, man. I just don't want him to drop to this. Because he can keep playing his stupid Uro. You know? Anything kills that Harbinger. Garrick unleashed next turn. It's game, though. Swings in. Big 8-8. Eight, eight. Down to one. Down to one. All we got to do is Garrick unleashed on Garenbrig. Honestly, if we get two Garricks unleashed, we, we're going to win this. If we top deck one more Garrick Unleashed, we just put plus three right on this and on that. Come on, baby. Yeah, we just pump up the 7-3, pump up the 8-8, eight, eight, and double down. Song of Creation is pretty nasty. Storm's Wrath allows us to win. Um, it looks like he's going to Uro here. Man, is that annoying, huh? Uro is such a good card. Yeah, one, two, three, four... We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have enough for Garrick and for uh, Gorehorn, which is pretty good. And look, I think we might be able to get it. Please just give me two Garrick Unleashed. <laughs> he says nice. Okay, it looks like he got what he was looking for. I, I thought he'd for sure attack with all of his reefs. I'll just chump. Horn Beetle. All right. We are going to play uh, Mr. Unleashed here. I should probably get Horn Beetle cooking too. That wouldn't be enough to do both anyway. Uh, I guess I'll drop Horn Beetle. I know probably the other one's better, but. Okay. That's some damage, man. Swing, swing, swing. Good game. It should be lethal. I mean, blocks that. Yeah, and the trample just rides right over. That's a 12 12, man. That's like a Galta. That was a fun match. Longest match I ever played with this deck. Good game, Mitch. I think I said good game to him, right? 
Unless he has some crazy trick up his sleeve. Got him. Very good game. That was a really good game. All right, well, that's the deck. I mean, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, I think it's it's pretty great. Um, I It's not going to make you win a billion matches in rank, but it's definitely a really, really good, uh, solid deck that's probably going to get better next meta. Um, you know, once uh, a bunch of uh, sets rotate out, this deck's only going to get stronger. You know, you got a lot of powerful cards that are going to remain in this build. Not losing any of these cards. Definitely rotation-proof. Um, which is really, really cool. Well, you will lose Pelt Collector. There's that. But outside of him, everything's pretty good, man. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, leave a thumbs up. It does go a long way. And share the video if you really enjoyed it. Skadoosh.